Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. All right guys, so we are kicking off week one of the pantry and freezer challenge. I am trying out a new recipe today. It is cheddar macaroni beef casserole using ingredients that of course I have on hand. Now, if you're not familiar with the pantry challenge that I'm doing, I will make sure to link the video in the description box. I did a tour of my pantry and freezer so you can see what I'm working with and why I am doing this challenge. But the first thing that I have done is I have made a box of macaroni and cheese according to the package directions, but you're supposed to leave out the butter. And I also cooked it al dente since I'm going to be cooking this. And then I have a pound of lean ground beef that I have cooked and seasoned. So I have added some seasoned salt, um, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powder. And then to my um, ground beef, sorry, I can't think today, I am adding a can of stewed tomatoes. And then once this cooks down for just a little bit, I'm going to add in my macaroni and cheese. I'm going to put it into a casserole dish and cover it with um, shredded cheddar cheese. So I will make sure to link the, link the recipe in the description box so that you'll have it. And of course, I'll bring you back at the end to show you our plates. So let me show you everything that I used for our meal today. So here is the casserole, and it's actually pretty good, and it was very easy to make, as you can see. So I've got the casserole, and then I made some French green beans. These, of course, were in my pantry. They are from Aldi, and I had forgotten that I had this butter in the fridge. So normally I cook my green beans on the um, stove and I didn't feel like it today. I microwaved my green beans, seasoned them, and then I added this French onion butter to them and they actually have a pretty good flavor. And then, um, you know, of course, what I used for the casserole, I used the macaroni and cheese, the stewed tomatoes, and a pound of lean ground beef. And I did not have any garlic bread at all. And so I did have these French bread pizzas in my freezer. So I made one and Howard and I are splitting that for our bread tonight. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. So we are having this Kung Pao broccoli that I picked up from Aldi. And I actually bought two bags when I bought it and um, I didn't know that it was microwavable. So the first time I made it, I did microwave it and I didn't like it at all. It came out really, really mushy to me. I said the next bag I was going to stir fry it, which I did and it still came out really, really mushy. I had to add some seasoning to it. Um, I probably would not buy it again. I don't care for it. I don't really care for frozen broccoli, but we're having that. We're also finishing up these egg rolls. I cooked them in the air fryer and here they are on the plate. In my refrigerator, I had some refrigerated lo mein noodles that come in a little package like this. And so I made two packages because the packages are kind of small and it comes with teriyaki seasoning. So I made that, I made some steamed rice and then from the freezer, um, again, we are having this sesame chicken. It's from HEB, which is a grocery store that is here in Texas. So I made that and here it is on the plate. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. We are having beef shank and I made it in my crock pot and here it is. Those are bones that you see in there, not potatoes. And so on the bottom of my crock pot, I chopped up an onion and then I put the beef shank on top and then I added a package of Lipton onion soup mix and almost a whole stick of butter. I saw this recipe on all recipes and it's okay. I cooked it for about 11 hours on um, low and it's okay. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. I would probably add additional seasoning next time. And so with it, I am just serving some white rice and some leftover French green beans from the other day. 
So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast for dinner. I have a ton of this smoked sausage in my freezer and just wanted to use it. And that is Harrison, our one-year-old in the background making a lot of noise, but I decided to pan fry it, here it is. And then um, we are having these potato pancakes that I picked up from Ikea on a recent grocery haul from there. And we've never had them before, I just pan fried them in the grease from the sausage. And then Howard made fried eggs. They are hard fried eggs, or over hard I guess you should say. I only started making them when he, eating them when he started making them. So I like um, Parmesan cheese on mine. And then I just made some toast to go with it. This is the bread that we are using from Pepperidge Farm. And so this is my plate right here. And then this is Howard's plate. He kind of made his like an open face breakfast sandwich. His bread is on the bottom. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are eating from our freezer tonight. We are having this pizza from Aldi. When I first picked it up, I misread it and I thought the toppings were broccoli cheddar. I didn't realize that it's the crust that's broccoli cheddar. So the directions are you cook it directly on the oven rack, which is what we did. And so here it is. I just put it on a cookie sheet. Howard and I tried it and we both said it's okay. It's actually not bad at all. I was really afraid of the crust, even though I do like broccoli and cheddar, I wasn't sure of the texture, but the texture is kind of like a flour texture. So I um, cut it so you guys could see, this is what the crust looks like. And if I didn't know that it was broccoli and cheddar, I mean, I wouldn't have guessed that. So here's the bottom of it. As you can see, it's nice and golden brown. It's actually really not bad at all. There is no red sauce, so it's just the uh, crust and then it has several different types of cheese um, on the pizza. And I was trying, oh, here it is. Several different types, types of cheese. And because I was afraid of this pizza, I did decide to make some wings just in case we hated the pizza. So these wings, I saw people hauling these from Costco and everyone raved about how good they are. My Costco did not have these. I did find these at my grocery store a while back ago, and so I made them in the air fryer, and here they are. Howard and I sampled them. I love these things. Howard said they were just okay. He said they taste more like teriyaki than Korean barbecue, but I like teriyaki and Korean barbecue. I would definitely buy these again. Hopefully my Costco will get them in. They do have a little bit of a kick, not as high as those wings that we had from Kroger the other week. Definitely not that hot, hot, but they do have an awesome flavor. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.